Recently, I came across a festival tracker on Instagram. It was called Totem Labs as well as Crowd Compass. So they provide a service that allows you on festivals to track your friends or like to meet your friends to find them uh, where they are. And this without cell service, because on most festivals there is no cell service available. That's why an AirTag probably won't work. And this one is working basically completely without a cellular network. Yeah, I, I really want to build it myself. Um, I want to understand how it works. And I want to take you on my journey of, uh, of recreating this device. Also, I want to add another feature since they just show you the direction uh, of the friends and not the distance. I want to add this feature to the um, yeah to the device. Also, I cannot order it in Germany at the moment since they both just offer pre-ordering and it is not super cheap. It's like 50, 60 euros, something like that. And I think we can build it ourselves a bit cheaper and a bit more features in it. And also it's like quite a lot of fun to understand IoT devices, understand how they work. And yeah, I would say let's get started, dive into it, grab a coffee and join me on this journey. I received most of the parts yesterday in the mail. They came from China, from AliExpress. Let's let's take a look what I ordered. The first thing is an ESP32. I ordered two of these uh, development boards just to get started. For the final product, you would use smaller ones, but for this project, they are perfectly suited. I ordered everything twice to make the product that they communicate to each other and that they uh, can use can be used basically without cellular. Uh, and not have a prototype, but basically have a functioning product, product in the end. So yeah, two ESPs. Then I ordered two GPS antennas. I ordered two uh, little gyroscopes for the compass. So we know the orientation. So we know the GPS coordinates, we know the orientation. And if we know the other coordinate, we should be able to direct in this uh, direction. Then I ordered two little TFT round displays. They basically should show me the direction and the distance to the other person. Um, and also for the connection, I ordered two, two of these uh, LoRa antennas. They are <coughs> super small. Did not expect them to be that small. So you have two LoRa antennas and they should be able to communicate over distances of multiple kilometers on a free field in in the festival context probably half a kilometer to a kilometer but usually this is enough for most festivals yeah and in these compass thingies and so the totem and the crowd compass they have like this feature of forward the uh, information so there you have also this peer network thing i won't implement that because it is probably a bit more complicated and also i I don't think I need this. Um, yeah, the GPS antennas are quite big. Not sure what antennas they use because uh, the antenna already is heavier than the final product of the totem labs. So with battery and all of that, I don't know how they make it that light. Um, maybe they use other GPS antennas, but I order the, the big ones to have more accuracy outside. The plan I have is to first get the compass working to find the orientation of the ESP. The second step would be to show the compass direction on the display. So if we rotate the device, we can show in the direction. So have basically a running compass. The third thing would be for me to get the GPS coordinates. When we have the GPS coordinates, we can put in hard coded other GPS coordinate and just point in the direction of this one so that we can rotate the device, walk around, and we will always be directed in the um, direction we gave. The next step would then be to get the ROA application running so that we can communicate that one ESP is sending his location to the other one and the other one is pointing to this one. And then the last step would be to have a peer to like the connection back and forth that the two ESPs communicating to each other and sending the information from one to the other uh, ESP. So this would be the, the final idea. And in the end, putting everything together in a small uh, box and 
with a battery. Maybe order a smaller ESP because this one is a development board. It's quite big. And um, yeah, I think you can pack it a bit tighter with a smaller ESP. And the whole idea in the end would be to just uh, put everything together in a small box and have it running. Without further ado, let's get the orientation of the ESP in the first step. So I finished the HMC Compass module and apparently they screwed me already on the first part. Since it is declared as the HMC as you may see here, but it seems to be the QMC and it is a common pattern as I read in the forums that they just sent you the QMC part and declare it as HMC since it is a cheaper module. Hey yo, what the f If you tilt it here, you see it also tilts in the code. It is definitely not the right value, so it should be between 360 and zero. And it is between minus uh, 40 and plus 40 or something. After calibrating the sensor, it now shows the correct data. So if I move it, it looks fine. Uh, it bet is between minus 180 and 180, so the values are fine. And now we can move to the second step and display the direction of north on the little display I already set here. After fiddling around quite a bit with the sensors and the display, I managed to make it more or less accurate. So it always points to the same direction. I had to swap a few values here and there. Now, as you can see, if you move it around, it shows always in the same direction. And now we are ready for the second step. And this is adding the GPS. When I add the GPS, I want to have my current location and I want to track another location and always point in the direction of the other location. But this I will do in the next video. So if you don't want to miss it out, how we built the festival tracker together, subscribe. And if you have any suggestions how to make it better, let me know down in the comments. Uh, happy to tweak the project and would be nice to build it together with you. With that, I will list the parts for this part of the project down in the comments and also will share the code. We will create the GPS part in the second part and I hopefully have a running festival tracker in the end of the video. If you don't want to miss it out, yeah, subscribe and see you next time.